Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to do a video on how to rank data within NIME. So this is a continuation from the data set in our previous videos where we created Excel reporting IDs and then exported data to Excel. So we have this data set here that breaks out departmental wages by year and by department. So the goal of this video is to learn how to rank within NIME. So first we're going to rank all of the data, either ascending or descending, our choice, and then we're going to, after that, rank the data or the departmental wages within either the year, the, excuse me, within the year or within the department. So let's get started. So now that we know what our data looks like and how we want to rank, first you're going to go over here and you're going to type in rank and just grab this rank node. So I already did that and I already connected it to the data. So now let's double click so we can configure it. So you see this screen here where you've got a ranking attribute selection and a grouping attribute selection. So the ranking attribute is the column or the dimension that you're going to rank either ascending or descending and then the grouping attribute is at the level at which you want to rank. So by that if we want to rank all the data we don't add a grouping attribute. But if we want to rank by the year um, we use this grouping attribute and we'll walk through that in the next example. Um, but since we're going to rank on the overall, we're going to leave that blank. We're just going to go over here to the ranking attributes, click add, and then we want to select the departmental wages as the dimension that we're ranking on. And we're going to rank descending so we get a view as to what the highest departmental wage per year was. Um, where number one is the highest on the overall and it descends as the numbers are as the ranks go up You're going lower and lower in your departmental wages um, So then you have different modes to rank Over here. I usually stick with standard um, Honestly not too sure what how to use the dense or the ordinal um, But I'm sure some of you guys are more advanced will understand when to use this um, The name of the ranking attribute you can adjust here I'm going to say rank um, and then I'll do, I'll just do rank wages. So then after that, I'm just going to hit apply and hit OK. Then I'll execute my data, right? So now we're going to right click, look at the rank data. And now we see that this wage for the R&D department in 2016 is ranked as number one and since we're ranking descending number one here signifies the highest wage right and you can see it's higher than the rows below it for sure what we can do to double check is sort this column that we're ranking on the same way that we set the rank up so we're going to sort descending so you can see the data maintains the same order and that the rank works appropriately so now we're going to go back in and just rank it this uh, ascending. So number one is the lowest wage. So we'll hit apply, hit OK, hit OK, execute, and then take a look at the data. So now the 70,000 should be the lowest wage regardless of the year and department. So if we rank this ascending, it keeps the same order. So you know the rank is correct. Uh, and by that same token, we've got 56 rows in our data here, right? You can see that right up here. So if we rank this descending, we should see the, the 56 rank as the highest wage, which we saw was the R&D department. So what we'll do is we'll rank descending. And now you've got row 56 as the highest, right? So everything's working correctly. So for the next example now, we're going to rank within the groupings. So I'll add the description over here. We're going to connect this node. And now we'll use that additional um, grouping attribute section, right? So now within the grouping attribute is, think about it like you want to reset the rank at each new one in, within this interval. So for each new year, you want to reset the ranking. So what we're going to do is select year we're going to rank by year and now we'll add in the ranking column 
which we know is our de departmental wages. We'll do it again descending. So then we get a snapshot on a yearly basis which department had the highest ranks. And then we'll change the name of the ranking attribute to rank. Let's actually do wage rank by year. So we'll hit apply, hit OK. Now we'll execute. And then we'll take a look at the results. So now we've got over here each year, it looks like the R&D department has the highest wage. What we can do, it's pretty tough to see here since it's, all, it's grouping all the number ones for each year together. Then number twos, it doesn't look like it's grouping these accordingly. So what we'll do instead is we'll just sort by year. So now you've got 2013 all together. So now you can see within 2013 the highest wage is this line right here for the R&D department at 137,000. And the next highest, if we look at this, is 116, which coincides with that too. If we go down to 2015, right, there should be another number one ranking, another number two, because now the rank resets within every year. So your R&D again is your highest in terms of wages, so it gets ranked one. Sales again is number two. So it seems to be moving in the same direction, but you can see that the ranking is working correctly because it's ranking within the year the highest wage and down descending, right? So we're good to go there. And then we could take it a, we could run it differently as well. We don't have to rank based off the year, we could just rank based off the department. So we'll just remove this, well you don't need to remove it actually, you can just swap it to department. Hit apply, hit OK, we'll execute, and again we can take a look at the results. And within the department you'll rank each year, so you'll see which year um, from 2014 through it looks like 2020, which year which years were the highest down to the lowest in terms of wages. So here, the highest year in terms of wages for the R&D department was in 2016. 2017 was the second highest, third highest was 2013. Um, it looks like 2014 was actually the lowest. Uh, so you over time you could see trends within here, right? Um, but you also have the rankings now that help add a different uh, shade of color to it. But anyways, that's how you do that's how you run a ranking node within Nime. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share this with all your other analyst friends. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next video.